Hey hello guys it's how to tech simplified and in this video I will be showing you how to easily fix uh, the problem that your Wi-Fi keeps disconnecting now this is a very regular problem that you face when using Windows 10 or Windows 11 so make sure to follow my easy step and let's fix this problem now I will be heading you a couple of methods so there will be one method that will work for you just keep trying them now for the first one we're going to the button right corner of our screen where our Wi-Fi appears. Now we simply press it and from here this little window will open up. From there we head down to the Wi-Fi settings and we click the Wi-Fi and here is the connected Wi-Fi that you're using. Now from there simply right click it and head to properties. Now once you're in your properties as you can see right here my property is on a public network. Now this is recommended but for your problem to be fixed you should head to a private network. Now this will make sure that it keeps connected to the Wi-Fi that you're using and it won't log off. Now let's head right to the second one. Now for the second method we're going to our properties in our device manager. So simply head to the start icon, right press it and here you can go to device manager. Now this will open up the device manager. If you can't find the device manager, simply head to the start icon, press run, and from there you type in devmgmt.msc and simply press OK and it will open up the device manager for you. Now in the device manager, we're heading down to network adapters right in the middle screen, right below monitors. We open up the drop down menu and you search for your Wi-Fi connector. Now for me it's the Intel Wi-Fi 160 megahertz but most in most cases it's the real tech. So try them both. Now we simply right press it and go to properties. Now once you're in properties this little window will open up. Now from here we go down to the power management. And as you can see, the allow the computer to turn off this device to save power is checked. Now this is checked by default. So make sure to uncheck it and press OK. Because sometimes if your device needs more power, it will automatically turn off your Wi-Fi to save power. Now let's head right into the third method. Now for the third option, we're heading down to the search bar once more, right below the start menu and from there we search for power plan and here it will open up the control panel and head down to the edit power plan now as you can see here are all the settings for your power now simply change advanced power settings press it and it will open up this power options window now here we have a tab called wireless adapter settings simply open this one Head to power saving mode and here you can see on battery and plugged in. Now for this to work you simply open up the medium power saving on the battery and change it to maximum performance. As you can see right here it has been changed and simply press apply, press ok and you can already notice that the problem has been fixed. Now let's head right to the next method. Now for the next one we're going to use the Windows service system that's running in the system. From here you simply open up the run application once more. You can use the Windows key plus R to open it up or you can simply go to, to start and right click the Windows icon and press run. Now from here simply type in s-e-r-v-i-c-e-s dot m-c m-s-c to open up the services dot m-s-c. Now simply press OK and here there are a load of options to choose from. Now simply put your mouse on one with the left mouse key and type in M. So simply press M on your keyboard. Now this will open up all the services that start with an M. Now scroll all the way down till you find the WWEN Auto Convic. Now select it, right press it and head to properties. Now from here the startup type shouldn't be manual but it should be automatic. From there simply press apply, 
press OK. And here you can start the service. So simply start it and it will check and stabilize the Wi-Fi connection for you. Now let's head right to the next method. Now for the following step, we're going to reset the IP logs and uh, the IP address so that it's clear for the next use. Now we're going to do this by using the command prompt on our system. So simply type in the search bar CMD. This will open up command prompt, right press it and run as administrator. Now simply press yes and here is command prompt. Now for this to work, you simply type in this command. This is N-E-T-S-H spacebar I-N-T spacebar I-P spacebar reset. So simply copy and paste this and press enter. Now as you can see this has uh, reset the IP and here you can restart the computer to complete this action. So restart your computer and check if it works. Now let's head right to the next one. For this one we need command prompt as well so simply head back to the search once more. Type in CMD, open as an administrator and from here press yes and now we are going to use the WinSuck. So we keep the same netch and reset, but change it to WinSuck. So WinSuck reset. Now this will reset the WinSuck and will clear out the WinSuck from your PC, which will reset it. Now for the next method, if the other method still didn't work, we're going to change the DNS server to a more stable one so that the internet connection will be more stable. So simply head down to the uh, Windows key once more, uh, right click it and go to run. Now this will open up the run service and here type in ncpa.cpl and press OK. So this will open up your network connections. Now open up the current Wi-Fi, simply right click it and head to properties. Now this will open up the Wi-Fi properties and here you go to Internet Protocol version 4, the TCP IPv4. Now open the properties once more and this will open up the DNS settings. Now the first one we're not touching, the IP address, but we're going to change the DNS server. So use the following DNS server addresses. Now we're going to use the fastest DNS server there is and which it's the one of Google. So you simply type in 8888, so four eights in the top to the preferred DNS server and alternate DNS server, we're typing 8844. So simply press OK. Now let's head right to the next one. So there's one more thing that we could do and that is update the driver of our wireless system. So simply go down to start once more, press uh, the device manager and it, this will open up the device manager now from here we go down to the devices right below the monitors the network adapters right here and here we head down to our network adapter from earlier now, this is for me the intel wi-fi 160 megahertz so simply press it and update the driver now here search automatically for drivers and as you can see, my drivers are already updated and installed. Now, if this doesn't fix the problem, what you could do also is from here, simply right press the driver, the Wi-Fi, and disable the device right here. After that, restart your computer and enable the device again. Now, if this still didn't work, what you could do is update your PC and head down to update drivers once more because sometimes after a update new drivers will load in and here go to browse my computer for drivers and simply press next and as you can see the drivers are already updated what you could also do is browse computers press browse sorry uh, let me pick from a list of available drivers of my computer and here are a list of available drivers for your Wi-Fi modem so simply head down and test them all and try if one will update as you can see it will start installing drivers and will update them 
Now, after you went through all these steps given, uh, please restart your system and uh, try to check if your network still keeps disconnecting. If this tutorial has helped you in any kind of way, please leave a like and subscribe. But most importantly, thank you for watching the video. And if this tutorial uh, didn't help you, please leave it in the comments down below and I will try to do my best to help you.